Hello, and welcome to Korra. This is a game which I was lucky enough to get a review copy of uh, from Curve Studios, who's absolutely great. Uh, you can get it yourself on Steam. It's uh, 79.79. No, not quite that much. $7.99, which uh, isn't that much. Let me just turn the music down a little bit. That's a little bit loud for me. You can also get the uh, sound uh, soundtrack for two ninety nine, and from this little bit, sounds like it's pretty worth it. Now I'm just gonna jump right in. I have played the beginning just to sort of see what it's about. I haven't really gotten much further than finding the main part of it. Contractor. Well, again, it's great to finally have you settling into town. My guys should be finished up with some of the final touches by this evening. If you want, there's a festival going on in town today. You could check it out while the house is being finished. I bet that by the time the thing whole thing is over, the house will be all ready for you. Should also give you a chance to meet the new neighbors. Nice people, all of them. In fact, while the boys finish up, I think I'll go into town myself. Give me a call tomorrow morning if you see anything we missed or have any problems at all. Talk to you soon. And he wanders off. So this is us, in the middle, doing a little dance. Uh, very, very simple controls. Left, right, you can sit on things, and space to interact. There's something almost hypnotic about this statue. It's like it wants to say something to me. And up at the top right there, you see our remarkably fancy house. And a little bird fountain, I think. With this style, it's a little hard to tell what everything is sometimes, because it's too pixelated. But, it works out. Pronto, welcome to the neighborhood. I'm the only one around here who knows how to fix that stupid truck. But I'm learning! That's right, I'm teaching Junior here how to do his first oil change. Soon we'll have two mechanics in this old town. Actually, I want to be a figure skater when I grow up. Haha, <laughs> we don't say that around strangers, son. Well, uh, okay. It's a little mean to your son there. Let him live his dreams, gosh. Brutalin. It's an interesting name. That's a nice house you've got up there on the hill. Shame you've built it on a hot spot for falling boulders. Thanks for telling me now that it's done. Nice. The young man and his family had a house there before you, squashed flat along with his 14 children by a rock the size of a shopping mall. I don't see it there, so... I think maybe you're lying. Maybe. These walking people you can't talk to. Prickle. Huh. Welcome, neighbor. Glad to finally meet you. My wife's got me out here doing the laundry while the festival's going on in town. I used to always go listen to the local music, but now I'm stuck here with these stupid chores. Anyway, my wife knitted you this sweater as a housewarming gift. You received an ugly sweater! Yeah! It's got pictures of houses on it. She's quite the knitter. That thing will keep you warm wherever you go. Really warm. Like, hot. And itchy. So it's, it's a sweater. Good to know, Fangara. You must be new to town. You're the one building the house on the hill there, aren't you? Well, you should stop by for the bonfire after the festival. It'll be a blast. Hopefully not literally. Bonfires aren't supposed to do that. I'll be smoking my famous meats tonight. Well, it's not actually meat, but boy does it sure taste like it. Uh, <clears throat> double entendre maybe? Hard to say. Uh, this is sort of how the game goes, though. Very, very, very text-driven. So I'm going to be talking a whole lot. Khalil, I'm so excited for the bonfire today. My girlfriend's coming and I'm going to kiss her. A lot of people make fun of her, though, because she's so big and can't talk too well. I try and explain it's because of her disease, but no one listens to me. She was born with a thick coat of grey fur all over her body and dark leathery skin. Um... Are you sure she's, you know, human? I mean, I get why everyone thinks it's strange. 
but I cannot wait to see to lay that big wet smooch on her once we're cuddling around the fire. Uh huh. Well, let's climb this ladder. Talk to the people up here. That 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 seriously is like kind of concerning though. Like leather skin, thick coat of fur. I don't know. Glad to see a new face in town, says Reston. The green smudge. You seem like a genuinely friendly person. I can tell from your appearance alone. I'm very good at that. Take this kid under the tree, for example. The way he's standing almost deathly still, head turned up to the sky, it's clear he's deep in thought, possibly contemplating the nature of the universe. Maybe the beauty of that tree was so moving, he just had to stop and admire it. What a dreamer. Threw my shoe up in the tree and now it's stuck. So that tells you about that guy. Uh, he can't he can't tell a fucking thing about people. And I just kind of realized that I give people accents. It's fun. I don't think I'll be doing it terribly consistently or well, but you know. What the hell is that name though? Budaya? Badaya? Whatever. <laughs> well, hey there, neighbor. Nice to see you're making it around. Everyone is southern, apparently. Nice to see you're making it around for introductions. If you ever need a nice home-cooked meal to warm your belly, just swing on by. I'll be hosting a little post-festival dinner on the patio tonight if you're around. I will warn you though, the steak might be a little tough to chew. My husband... Wow, alright, this is kind of not a female accent. Uh, my, my husband called the armadillo yesterday evening, and it had clearly been through a lot of trauma. What a beautiful voice. Tina, you go first. Tina, I'm not going until you do. It's not your choice. We already flipped a coin. That wasn't a coin. That was a cashew nut. Doesn't matter. It had two sides. But both sides were the same. I could tell him the difference. Well, maybe that's why you won. That, that sounds like a reasonable conclusion to me. And... Guy on a patio. Gango. Hey, newcomer. I've been watching the house come together and it looks great. You may wonder why I'm up here alone instead of celebrating joyfully at the festival. It's sadly due to, to, to a condition that I developed after years of mountain climbing. As opposed to the more common fear of heights, I'm actually a victim of a crippling fear that overwhelms me when I am planted firmly on even ground. What? The fear has kept me from leaving the second floor of my house for 16 years. The saddest part is that I would love to keep climbing mountains, but in order to do that, I'd have to first walk downstairs where my climbing gear is. Since my plight is seemingly hopeless, I might as well have the only piece of equipment I keep upstairs. You received the pickaxe. That thing can come in handy around here, what with the boulders and all. Yeah, I heard, apparently shopping mall sized rocks fall from the sky, crush people, and then leave in the darkness of night. Or our mind away or something. She didn't really elaborate. So, we'll just move right along. We got a sweater and a pickaxe. That's a great introduction to any town. Tinkle. Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you, friend. My unspoken job around here is taking care of all the plants and gardens in town. I suppose I just have a green thumb. Always have. Truth is, I actually hate plants. I despise them. Their appearance simply angers me. This gift that I have has been an absolute curse my entire life. Every night, I have nightmares that I'm tending to someone's flowers or trimming a shrub. But then I realize that I'm not dreaming and I'm actually doing those things in real life. Please help me. Well, that's fucked up. Now, this episode's probably gonna be a little longer than usual. Uh, you may have noticed that already. And that is because I intend to keep going until we get to sort of the main thrust of the game, which which you'll see. Keely, since you're new to this town, there's something you should know. This place has many spirits. The people in this area have been here for over 3,000 years. This town alone has an ancestry that runs back to very ancient times. And the spirits of our- oh, excuse me, yawning. And the spirits of our ancestors roam these mountains still today. If you're going to be part of our community, you must honor these spirits, or else take this incense 
and burn them in respect for the people of our past. Or else. Received a bundle of incense. Great. Smell nice while you burn something down. If you decide not to honor our ancestors, you'll die. They will haunt your soul for all eternity. So basically the same thing. Uh, little kid, Melwood. I love watching the birdies. They make me happy. About a year ago, I caught one and made him my pet. I named him Bungle and would go out every morning to get fresh worms for him. He was the nicest birdie I ever saw. One day, he bit my finger, so I fed him to my dog. That's, that's pretty fucked up, Melwood. Although that is kind of how kids work. Like, respect for getting it right, definitely. And I just want to point out uh, Curve Studios. I think I've actually gotten a review copy of another game they made. I don't remember what it was, though. And I think it was when I was using a different channel, so those videos aren't up. Ms. Dukas III, please don't talk to me. I hate my husband in my life. I also have an incredible migraine right now, so please go away. Well, all right, sorry. But so yeah, Curve Studios, they're awesome. Support them, I love them. Uh, this game is calm, but it's sort of the kind of game I like. So, beautiful music, interesting, uh, fucked up characters, like feeding a bird to your dog because it bit you. Do you like our house? I see you've built quite a nice one yourself over there. Is yours completely green certified though? Cause ours is. And did you get yours windows specialized to absorb solar energy and convert it into cooking oil for your kitchen? We did. Into cooking oil? How? That is pretty- uh, that is actually really fancy. And did you get that new thing that just came out on the market? It takes rainwater from the soil and turns it into life force energy that emits from air vents in your living room. You can't breathe in too much of it at once, and I've started getting 24-hour migraines since we installed it. But I'm sure you couldn't afford one anyway, so... That... Sounds like a scam. A little bit. Pinto. Great to meet you, neighbor. Our family's the poorest in town by a long shot. So if you ever see my kids writhing around in the dirt by your house, don't mind them. We've convinced them that normal kids play that way, so they won't want toys. When they see that other children have fancy action figures and video games, we just tell them that those things are poisonous. We say that in a few years, all those kids will be dead or have gross deformities. I guess eventually we'll have to think of an excuse as to why they're all those kids are perfectly fine. Are you looking to adopt any children, by the way? Wow, alright. Dodge responsibilities. I like it. Heyo. Hif hu hat ha ha la han he hey hit him whom he he yok har hu f he ain't it for you have hoped he would have him he have to help ha hers asshole you just call me a asshole that is not polite werby my expertise lies in playing this teeny little wooden box with pieces of metal on it. No one ever told me what it's called, but this exact one has been passed down in my family for generations. Recently, I learned how to build one for scratch, so I made a shiny new one for myself. If you want this old junky one, I'd be happy to lend it to you. You received a kalimba. You just, you just said, passed down for generations in your family, and you're like, I made one, so fuck it. Here, take it. Now, don't expect to become a master overnight takes extreme patience and natural ability to perfect this craft, so an hour maybe? However, if you would like to pick up the pace on your learning, I charge a thousand dollars per 15 minute le word lesson. That is that is what I was trying to say. That is a little overpriced. If, if you're interested, I'm not. I'm not interested. A thousand dollars for 15 minutes? I'd love to make that kind of money, but I'm not fucking paying that kind of money. Holy shit. Let's see what's in the next area. We can sit at a bench, but not much point in that. Uh, so this is the festival. There's no one to talk to here, but we can listen to the beautiful music. That's nice. Seriously, this this game is 
it is legitimately beautiful, which is something that I don't think can really often be said for extremely pixelated games. Like, they can have really interesting style, but they're very rarely beautiful, and combined with the music, I think this one kind of pulls it off. Cow number one, moo! Horse number one, nay! Horse number two, nay! Cow number two, Hosanna! I like cow number two. Lauren, are you new around here? All the produce you'll find in the market down in town is straight from this here farm. We also get our milk fresh from those two beautiful cows over in that barn there. Of course, you need a good sturdy cutting tool to do just about anything around here. In fact, why don't you take this one? I got a million in the shed. You received the machete. Cool. You never know when that thing will come in handy. I mean, just about two hours ago, I had to fend off the chicken coop from a bunch of snotty kids with it. And that, now that's one less meal I have to worry about for the pigs. Okay. Goodbye. I don't think I'm coming back. Goodbye. I wonder how old these are. They seem to be everywhere. Yeah, I've seen a few statues around. They all seem to be people praying. I wonder who they're praying to. Me too. Uh, maybe this giant statue who also appears to be praying. So I guess probably not because he's praying too, but, but, logic, hmm. It looks like there's an indentation in the palms that of that statue's hands. Seems to be shaped like a diamond or jewel of some kind. Ooh, magic. Magic is happening. Mysterious voice. Welcome, newcomer. I have no idea if I'll be able to do effects for this. I sense something in you. Something hidden from even your own eyes. It is something that very few possess, and among them even fewer discover. A link between the world you know and a far distant realm exists within you. You can see that he's a video game character? That is neat. If you hadn't come here today, it may have lain dormant for the rest of your existence. He can also fly, holy shit! Behold, the power of the gods gifted to man in those distant years of the past, still pulsing through the veins of the human spirit. I don't think spirits literally have veins, though. Embrace this link between our two realms, and you will find us beyond this forgotten land. We will be waiting for you. And now you're black. Oh, never mind. Oh, the music's over. That was actually really cool music. But that is what I was talking about. We now have a special gift, which, it being 18 minutes in now, you guys are going to find out in about, in about the next episode, in exactly the next episode. So I've hoped you've... I've hoped you enjoyed this, and I continue to hope you enjoy this, and I can't talk today. Wow. So I'll see you next time on Korra.